then you get to the closure. And this is really one of the main differentiators, again, between red teaming and pen testing. Here, you want to measure the success and failures. What TTPs were prevented? Why were they prevented? You want to document that. You want to document the good and the bad. What was detected and how long did it take? What was the time to contain, the time to eradicate? Were the processes followed? This is a big one that we're not used to testing in our pen test. We generally just find issues in technology or issues with people clicking through social engineering. But what about the processes? Are the processes broken? If the SOC detected something within two minutes, but the incident response team didn't get to it in seven days, I would say you have a process problem. How do you measure that? And that's a big differentiator. One of the main things I want to do here is use Vector. And I mentioned this one earlier. Vector is an awesome tool by security risk advisors. <clears throat> it is open source. It's free. If you know how to use Docker, you will be able to set this up quite easily. And you can create your adversary emulation plans here. Each test case, which you see right now, an example of Mimicats, has the red team side and the blue team side. The red team fills out the red team, the blue team fills out the blue team. This is great for blind red team tests and for purple team ex exercises. You can actually map this out to the various phases, to the ta uh, technique ID in MITRE ATT&CK, and fill out the various different commands. Because remember, every technique has multiple procedures. You will never get to 100% prevention of all the MITRE uh, matrix. There's new procedures or test cases coming out all the time. So in this case, we did Mimicats through PowerShell, and then we worked with the blue team. They were able to detect it, and we expected them to be able to detect this with both EDR and endpoint protection. So good job for McAfee endpoint and carbon black. What was the alert severity? What was the detection time? The attacker also has the same info. And the reason I like to use Vector, and yes, it does take you a bit to go through this and fill it out, is because you can then create various different reports. This top report here, remember that senior management really remembers the cyber kill chain, but always forgets every time you mention that attack framework. Well, here they have a view with the kill chain. How did the APT33 gain initial access? Through spear phishing. Then what did they do? How did they evade defenses? How did they do persistence? How was their command and control? You can see all the various test cases there on the top. On the bottom, you have different test cases as well, along with their status. Did you complete the test case? What was the outcome? Was it detected or was it prevented? Remember, a lot in MITRE attack will be detected, not necessarily through an alert, but may be detected. And really what you want to do is put these chains together, these attack chains. It also allows you to create these heat maps. Heat maps are good to have an idea of where you stand. By the way, all of this is sample data from uh, RSA, uh, from SRA, sorry. Um, and you can see here that of one particular technique, for example, file system permissions, had two different test cases done. And you can see that there's very weak detection or alerting on that. Well, there might be, say, full protection against LLMNR and NBTNS because it's disabled or whatnot. So Vector is a great uh, way of doing and tracking red team and purple team exercises. Again, it's free, and I highly recommend it.